Do we do we start recording? Yeah, right here. All right, we got, got uh, you know, we're we're on our podcast. This is locked in. We got Nick Piccinini. Uh, we got a special guest today. We got my boy Dayton Fix. Uh, we got a bunch of cowboys in the house. So mm-hmm. uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this started. What's up, Dayton? What are you doing, what bro? Up, guys? Oh, got, just, uh, yeah. chill. Got, got practice here in about four minutes. So just gonna talk to you guys for yeah, bro. Here for about half an hour. And get up there and start grinding. We're excited. How's to life on, been, man? How's life, bro? How's life been, my man? How's life been? been? Good. It's been good. Been busy. Yeah. You know, you guys know how the cold season is. Oh man, it's like every. Just, Every week, man, we're going somewhere else. So it's uh, been busy, but it's been good. Is it a travel yeah. year? Because sometimes it's a little more home than it is travel. Yeah, every this other year, year. This year is a travel year. This yeah. is the year we're all in. We're, like we're on the road every every weekend. So, so how's the uh, weight good? Everything's good. Body's good. You are feeling yep. good? Nice, oh yeah, man. feeling feeling real good. You know, making weight pretty easy. Nice. You know, not not too big of a big yeah. of a problem. So yeah, you said like. Nice. A- you seem like the guy that's doing everything right, bro. So we got well, a couple it, of questions. It's for about you. that time of the year. Yeah, it's the end of the year, so everything should be kind of dialed in right now, right? Yeah. 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 It gets, just whenever you start making weight, you know, you guys know how it is. Make weight, start making weight more often. It just gets so much easier. easier. And then you're body. just, your yeah. body just knows it's time to get down and you'll be exactly. within a couple pounds after practice every, pretty much every day. Well, well you look fucking oh, good. When you're wrestling, you look good. We're excited for you. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna watch you all season, obviously. Um, Appreciate we got, it. We got a couple of questions for you, Nick. You want to start off with the first question, or you want me to go? Yeah, man. I got them. I got them. Go ahead. All right, man. So, I know you, you wrestle a lot overseas, so the question I want to ask you is, what is your favorite overseas story? Um, I know you've been to a bunch of different countries, and, uh, you know, you've had great performances you know, around the world, which story of you traveling is your favorite? And it doesn't have to be just competing. about wrestling. It can be about anything, you know. If, if yeah, there's something yeah it can be overseas. about it. I've never been overseas, so I, I, I'm intrigued myself. So the thing about me going overseas is pretty much, I think every trip I've ever been on when I go overseas, I compete on the last day, and then we got to get up early that next morning and fly out. So it's always for me. I'm most of the time I'm there. I'm cutting. I'm cutting weight and getting down to weight, and then I get down that last day and compete, and then I don't have much time to do do anything. But I can a pretty a pretty funny story. When I was at my first World Championships, I brought uh my training partner Zoe. Zoe here. You, you guys, Zoe. you guys know Zoe. You guys yeah, know Zoe is my dad. Yeah. Yeah. So you. I'm uh I'm getting down to weight, you know, and he's a uh, he gets to see like all he he's we're in Kazakhstan, so he's uh there with a bunch of guys that he knows, a bunch of guys with the French team and from different other teams. And he's he's up, you know he he'll, he'll he would stay up just pretty much all night hanging out with them, hanging out at the hotel bar. Yeah, he did. I'd, I'd go to sleep, I'd wake up, like I I tell him, you know, I'm going to bed. I'm the night before I'm going to bed. I'd leave him. They'd be in the lobby in the bar area. I'd go up come back down in the morning to go work out and he's still still hanging out at the bar talking to his guys then we'd, Those are monsters. we'd head over a tank bro we'd, then we'd head over to uh head over to the to the arena and he'd he'd go hard hard with me for, for about an hour up. hour and a half and then i'd come back and he'd, he'd just probably just keep back going going back back at it at the bar but you know, I think that's, that was pretty funny pretty I funny that he would just and... that is a dope story I've hung out with him in Dallas one time, and man, that dude is a goer. He is oh, a yeah. goer. No, sleep, yeah, he can go, him. man. I love him. No, he, he don't need nothing, man. He's a tank. He could just rip it and go. Yep. What was it's, your it's, uh, favorite he's, place? He's born for it. Yeah. What was your favorite place you've been traveled to? Uh, so for me, most of the time, it's a uh, my favorites have. A, it just depends on how I perform. Yeah, most of the time. Sure. If I win in the place, that's I like it there. You know, that's how yeah. you know. That's how yeah. you know you're a winner. That makes sense. Yeah, that's how yeah. you know so, you're a winner, right? So there. Finland, I like uh, Finland. I enjoyed Finland. Mm-hmm. I got one junior worlds in Finland. Uh, Norway, I thought Norway was actually pretty cool. I got and I got second at the World Championships, senior level World Championships in Norway. So that was a, it was a good trip. 
Yeah, that was a good uh, tournament. And then, uh, well, I, I I actually enjoyed going to the Youth Olympics. It was in China, so it was just kind of really cool to see, you know, actually how many people there are in China. Because that that was a trip where I actually had a little bit more time to to do some exploring. Because I was over there for for like three weeks before I competed, so I had a little bit of time before to actually, you know, go like watch different events and stuff. And at the Youth Olympics, it's exactly like the like the regular Olympics, like you stay on a, okay. like in a village and they have like an opening ceremony, closing ceremony. That's cool. So, I mean, that was, so a, as far as treatment, cool as far as treatment to the athletes, you would say, uh, youth Olympics in China was probably the best. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, they had, it was everything. They had a big old cafeteria for the athletes. There was, I mean, all kinds of different basically like apartments that everybody just kind of stayed in. So it was cool. Really cool. Especially, yeah. you know, that young, just to be able to go over there and, and have that kind of experience. It was, so, it was awesome. so we got fighters and wrestlers and just, you know, everyday kind of people watching our stuff. What advice would you give to, you know, even me, I haven't fought overseas, but I imagine that that day is going to come and, and imagine that will happen for Nick as well. What advice would you give to wrestlers, fighters, whoever's traveling to compete how many weeks in advance does it take you to really get acclimated to the time change? Um, you know, and I know we have that tough mindset, but, you know, I fought from the West Coast, East Coast, and there's a little bit, and I've been to Hawaii, and there's a five-hour change. So you do feel a little bit, takes a little bit, but how long do you, you know, you've been doing this a lot more than I have overseas. What would you consider a good amount of time um, to get acclimated to, you know, the the – jet lag and everything else that comes along with it yeah so every time i've been like to the world championships senior level we we usually go like the last last time we went to germany for probably about a week week or two in advance so we're over there for for a week week and a half before we even compete so i mean that uh that helps you know a ton whenever you actually get get activated to the you know that, that time change because then you have guys like some people that train here at Oklahoma State, uh, Noel Torres, he wrestles for Mexico, mm-hmm. and they'll fly over like we're going. He's going to the World Championships. And he flies in on Tuesday. He's got to wrestle on Friday, mm-hmm. so he he's got like no no time yeah. to, to really yeah, get. That would be hard. Yeah, that's, yeah, that'd be you know, that's rough. So I mean, it's a uh, that's when you kind of look at it, and you're just, you know real grateful of you know where we're from, and that we you know have the opportunity to go over there that early and train and be able to get you know so do get you, you, do you start do you start like maybe sleeping at if, if you look and say you know whatever time it is over there do you start sleeping a little bit differently in the u.s before you go like a week or two or is it just we're gonna do the same shit we're gonna move over there and then we're gonna start getting acclimated when we get there yeah for me i i, just, I wait till i'm there you know because i want i want i want to be be trained at my at my best whenever i'm still for sure still in the states so yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. that. Makes sense. That makes sense. So um, another yeah. question, man. What? So what's? What was the recruiting process for you? Like um, getting out of high school? You know, obviously you're you're the man. You've been the man. You're from Oklahoma. I'm from Oklahoma. So I got to watch you coming up. You know, everyone knew who you were going to be and what you were doing. Um, what was the recruiting process for you? And uh, you know, why Oklahoma State? Why Oklahoma State? What was the reason behind that? You know, so. Uh, I mean, you know, for me, it was, you know, why not Oklahoma State? That was, that's where I always wanted to, wanted to go. I dreamt of putting on the Orange England and, and being a Cowboy. So, you know, there was really, really no other, other option for me at the end of the day. You know, I, I took all my visits and, you know, I had, I had a good time on the visits. There was nothing you know, wrong with those other places that I, that I visited, but they just weren't. It was no Oklahoma State, so, so you knew uh, you knew all along. Like when oh, we were yeah. getting recruited, like there wasn't any any other, because personally, you know, we all thought that there was other things that you might have been, you know, looking at, you know, because you were you were the guy, you're the guy. So why not, yeah. you know, why not go and and you were taking your visits. And for me, I didn't I didn't get to take very many visits, you know, because Coach Smith kind of put the hammer down. <laughs> But you got to take your visits, you know. So, 
Um, that was something that I've always kind of wondered, was there anyone else that was in consideration or was it just, you're wearing that orange singlet, no matter what, I'm just going to take my visits. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was basically the, the reason I really wanted to take my visits was so that I could look at the end of my career, I could look back and say, you know, I, I didn't have any regrets on, on not going and, you know, at least seeing where, what it was like in other places. Cause if I could have easily just, you know, been like, yeah, I'm going to be a cowboy. I want to be a cowboy and co committed Oklahoma state, spent my career there, whatever happens, happens. And then maybe I look back and say, man, I wish I would have taken my visit just to see what it was like. But, you know, I took my visits and I saw what it was like. And there was just no other place that was like, man, this is where I need to be. You know, that, that, that was Oklahoma state. Whenever I was on my visit here, I, you know, it's home. And it was yeah. kind of like, you know, this is where I need to be no matter what. And when you're no, from when you're no from doubt. Oklahoma, when you're from Oklahoma, right? It's there's two options really for a lot of the guys. It's you either wear the the other bullshit or you wear the orange, right? Yeah. And when the orange comes calling, it's a pretty easy decision, especially with this guy right here comes in there and starts recruiting. Uh -huh. You know, for so, sure. And there's a style Oklahomans have, you know, good on our feet, and that's something that you know, you develop even more when you get there. So that's Definitely. dope, man. I just have always wondered that myself. You know, I didn't know if there was another, you know, another option or you thought about doing it, you know. So, um, Nick, what else you got for my man? Hey, man, I want to know. I got a question for you, Dayton. <laughs> I see you posting a, a little pup running around. We want to know about Champ. Tell us, uh -huh. tell us a little bit about, you got a about dog, your man. Huh? Champ. Oh, yeah. Nice. Champ. I got I got a dog named Champ. He's nice a gold retriever, Ooh. and he uh, yeah, his birthday's actually that nil turned... money is good if you got a golden retriever in college. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had a yeah. I had a pure all kinds of shit dog. That's yeah. awesome, bro. He turns uh he turns two on Tuesday, so he uh he's I mean he's he's crazy. He's a he's he's a crazy dog, but but he's he's awesome. You know I uh. You know, I'm so glad that I uh, have a dog now. You know, it's uh, just, you know, because my, my girlfriend, she's a, she's a school teacher. So she's pretty much gone all the time. She's at school teaching. So whenever I'm at home, I'm just, I get to chill with my dog instead of sitting around by myself. And that, uh, yep. you know, and it's nice for her whenever whenever I'm gone, you know, wrestling. She has, has him to just, you know, chill with. Yep. Yeah. Protect yeah. her. Yeah. And yeah, work yeah. Out. I love Hey, that, I got bro. another question for you, bro. Another question. All right, this is a little deep question, and I don't know if you thought about this at all, if you put any energy into it, but I want to know in five years from now, where do you think you see yourself? Where do you think Dayton Fix will be five years from now? Um, you know, you can give accolades, you can give goals that you think you're going to achieve, you can give places you think you're going to be. We ain't thinking we're like achieving that. shit, Dayton. You're going to achieve. So whatever you say, we riding with it. <laughs> well, five years from now, I'm, I'm gonna be a uh, Olympic gold medalist, yep. world champion. Yeah, yep. And you know, hopefully, I'm hopefully I'm coaching here at Oklahoma State. Yeah, that'd be. I a, would. I would love that. I'd vouch. Yeah. You know, Me I personally, like I think uh, Dane, just being around you, being on your team, being your teammate, I think personally, you would be. Um, you're a great leader, man. You're you're a great leader. You're someone who puts in the work and people can watch you and, and learn from you. So I think, um, you know, if you were ever to coach and after you achieve these dreams that we all know that you're going to go and do, man, I think you'd be, um, you know, a top level coach who, who actually probably shows up on the scene right away and makes some waves that I, I believe just because of the experiences I've had personally with you. I think, um, man, if those are your dreams and goals, I, I think no one will doubt those things for you. And we see that happening for you for sure. I appreciate it. Yeah, man, appreciate I'm looking it. forward to that. But just remember, if I have a son, recruit his ass. Oh, you know I will. Give I him got some you. money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, give him some money. Yeah. Um. So, if, uh, some money. <laughs> yeah, give him a little bit of money. I know the NIL deals are popping out there, and we whatever we got to do to get it done, you know, we'll get it done. Um, oh yeah. So right now. You say you have a, a match tonight. You have a match tonight. I know you don't, but say you do. What singlet 
if you could perf- if you could pick any singlet that Oklahoma State has right now, and I have my option that I like that you guys wear, which one are you, are you rocking tonight? It's got to be the the OG orange. Yeah, you know, that's the that's if that's not the if that's not the one you're putting on, then you know then then you haven't been the you haven't been out there wrestling. You know, yeah, whenever you're wrestling yeah. that one, that's like that's your you know, that's like, like super, magic. Super, that's like Superman's cape and his, yeah. his suit. You know, you put that on, you're you're Superman now. And what a yeah. color! And what a color, orange. You know, you For wouldn't sure. think that, but you put that thing on, you're like, you start warming up, you're shaking yep. out. You're like, yep. I'm about to yeah, smash you feel somebody. Different. You do. You do. You feel, do. You know, you feel a little different you that do. day. But and we again, do have this. Go ahead. We do have this new, uh, the new black one. Man, I and was about to say I like that one. one, and that one's really cool. I got. I wish yeah, we would that wear that one a little bit more, but. But there's nothing like the, OG. like the, the, the OG one. No sure, one yeah. else wears orange like that. I mean, yeah, nope. you got like your Oregon State and stuff, but the tradition and hey, we just trump them. You, we put that orange yeah. single on. You shake our hand. You know it's gonna be a fun. yeah. We're someone, someone, we're showing up, and you better. Be, and you're gonna get the best out of whoever prepared. you're wrestling too, just because of that singlet. Oh yeah, definitely. The target's so, already on your back. So so far, um. You know, obviously, we're excited to have you here, bro. We're excited to have you here. We got one more question for you. I know you got practice. We don't want to keep you too long. And uh, so right now, what's your favorite OSU memory? Like I said a while ago, it doesn't have to be wrestling. It can be a recruiting trip. If you can go into details, I remember your recruiting trip, and I was there on your recruiting trip. It don't have to be that, obviously, but it can be anything that just has to do with Oklahoma State recruiting, pro- whatever. Just anything that just really sticks out to you. It could be a wrestling match. It can be whatever. So what's your favorite OSU memory, Dayton Fix? Oh, my, my favorite memory by far is when, is when Nick blew the roof off of GIA. Oh. You know, that, was, uh, that was, it was. Uh, ah, you had oh, to go I mean, there. This dude is just flexing right now. Oh, at, at it, was, New York. it was awesome. You know, and I, uh, I had to go on and wrestle right after that. So I mean it was back, a, back, baby. Oh, that's a tough back, act back. to follow. That is a one two punch. Is that is that when you is that when you, the game. that when you choked on me? Yep, yep. Oh, oh yeah. I, I was you, like you. I was in the car, I was like yep. throwing punches, I was feeling so excited. I wish I was there. Oh, I mean was it, it was just insane. It was insane. So we really didn't know how many people were, were there. So we were up, you know, mm. warming up like we always do, yep. you know, getting ready. And then we come out. We're gonna, you know, hit our lap, and that place is packed to nice. the to the brim. Mm-hmm. I mean, there, there was the standing room only. I know. I mean, it was a. Uh, I mean, it was insane. And the Nick goes out there and and decks old boy, and mm. that, the roof about. Blew we don't off even. That we don't even say his name anymore. We just decked old boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, old boy, took him out. Hey, but they, damn, dude, they, that hey, back hey, to back punch, back, punch, man, that thing was back tight. Back. That yep. was that would have been back fun. To back. That would have been yeah. fun. And then, my, uh, you know, I think that my, my favorite memory, you know, is, is yet to come, though. My, my all, all-time favorite moment. And I yeah, think that's yeah. going to be, you know, oh, man. that's yeah. going to be here in March. Yeah. Whenever you just I, gave uh, me the chills, bro. Yeah. You just gave me the chills. Too. Me too, bro. Me too. You'll be here in March whenever I, uh, you know, win that national title. In, yeah, I in know Tulsa. you're going to. You know, that's uh, – that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be the moment for sure. Man, I'm gonna be there. I don't even care what it takes, but we will be there. I'm probably gonna be in a suite because this fighter money's been pretty good to me lately. So we're gonna probably be in the suite, and you're gonna win, and we're probably gonna pour shots, and then we're gonna come straight yeah, well, behind you. I'm, I'm yep. jumping down onto the mat. I'm running onto the mat after you come win. On. I'm gonna run and tackle your ass. Yeah. <laughs> come on. I probably ain't doing yeah. that because I don't want to get arrested. But I'm gonna be like, I don't even care. That's my dog right care. there. Yeah. He was on the Locked In podcast. Uh-huh. Hey, I got one more question for you, Dave. Yep. Ten seconds left. It's tied two-two. You versus Kyle Crushmer. Yeah. What takedown are you hitting fucker. on him to win the match? <laughs> Hey. Inside trip. No. Inside trip. From no, you no ain't doing me like that. Hey, I'm pulling guard and I'm going I'm going arm bar and I'm just I'm just holding on too. That's f- all right. Oh, two to two. Just no, not even two to two. What are you gonna do to Nick to get the major? There's ten seconds left. You gotta get the major. And, hey, and all you gotta do we've is already get had our down. fair shares, brother. No. We've had yeah. our fair shares. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I had enough of dating. Man, I'm. That's why I went to fighting. 
I'm done wrestling. I, yeah. I I dealt with Dayton. I'm gone now. I'm I fight now. I don't wrestle Dayton. The problem is, Dayton, is he Dayton probably really level. does inside trip me to win the match, and that's why I'm a little bit <laughs> fucked up about. Hey, it. me too. Me too. Like me too. Well, Dayton, hey, bro. We appreciate you coming on. Have a good practice. I hope you know the year. I know it's gonna go well, bro. Stay healthy. Stay ready. You know the vibe, bro. I'm proud for of sure. you. We're proud of you. And, uh, you know, thanks for coming on our show. We'll get some clips to you. And, uh, Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll, I'll be I'll be happy to come on any other time. Just let yeah, me know we'll, when. We'll do it. After you win your national title, you're the first one on, bro. All right. Let's, let's go. do it. Game fix. Greatest ever, baby. Let's go. go.